Welcome once again to Living in the 21st Century. Joining me today is Vasil Shavchenko, former Transportation Minister of Ukraine. Uh, Vasil, it's a pleasure to have you in again today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I read recently that um, Senate is, is an uphill batter, battle in the Senate to try to approve at least $60 billion, $65 billion to Ukraine um, for aid. How important and how urgent is it, is it is right now at this stage to get this money as soon as possible? Uh, first of all, I'd say that Ukraine troops uh, are extremely limited in ammunition at the battle line. And, uh, uh, for example, we are not able uh, to, uh, to use the same number of uh, rounds uh, against Russia army, who, which uh, uh, has received a lot of ammunition from their uh, partners from North Korea, and uh, they are uh, receiving uh, combat drones uh, from Iran. And uh, I think that there are a lot of information about cooperation uh, uh, Russia with the China. And because of it, it's quite difficult for the uh, Ukraine forces uh, to hold our military operations. But Ukraine forces uh, are fighting now using uh, technology uh, which are... Uh, able uh, the, to use it in ukraine first of all it's uh, drones uh, for example ukraine uh, 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 officials have invited uh, all inventors in ukraine uh, to produce drones and uh, haven't been uh, adopted uh, dozens of drones which uh, uh, are uh, uh, funding from state budget for from public uh, uh, public budget uh, from uh, public organization and uh, thanks this drone uh, uh, it's uh, 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 combat uh, units are fighting uh, effectively at the battle line but uh, uh, it uh, cannot uh, uh, cannot uh, influence uh, for Russia Federation for for a long time, and uh, at the same time, Ukraine uh, was visited head of uh, European uh, Union, who promised uh, uh, who promised that Ukraine uh, one hundred and uh, one million and one hundred fifty uh, thousand rounds uh, during a year, but uh, we don't know uh, how. Uh, uh, fast will we receive it and uh, how uh, will we be able to use it because uh, now at the battle line there are a lot of uh, really uh, cruel battles and uh, we can see that uh, there are a lot of challenges for Ukraine for example Russia are not able uh, to defeat Ukraine's army and Ukraine and you know that Ukraine uh, have managed uh, <clears throat> to liberate uh, more than half uh, territory which was uh, captured uh, in to, in uh, 2022 year and uh, <clears throat> now we are going to have uh, combat uh, aircraft fighter jets which were, we were promised uh, from our partners but we haven't received it and we don't know when uh, will they appear at the battle line and uh, to be honest lack of ammunition uh, as a usual uh, reflect of uh, on uh, effectivity of uh, waging war and uh, you know that ukraine forces uh, um, as a usual um, very often are uh, uh, clashing with uh, russia's troops and uh, we have uh, uh, victims too and uh, we can see that ukraine forces uh, are eliminating about uh, 1000 uh, russia's uh, uh, 
Russia's troops and uh, the same time uh, because of cruel uh, combat and lack of ammunition uh, we uh, are not able to save up uh, uh, soldiers life and uh, you know that we uh, uh, don't have uh, um, the same uh, number of human resources and uh, we know that Russia Federation is uh, looking for mercenaries around Russia Federation uh, in different countries uh, in uh, Russia Federation peoples from the prison and uh, people who's uh, who has debts uh, in the bank and uh, any uh, funding systems uh, and uh, because of it uh, situation is uh, quite uh, uh, difficult for us and we are waiting uh, for our partner support and we are waiting for support from United States and uh, we hope for uh, voting for uh, uh, support for Ukraine for uh, in uh, uh, House representatives and uh, in Senate and uh, we are sure that uh, United States President uh, will fulfill his promises he uh, gave us uh, from uh, from the very beginning and because of it uh, we believe in our partners and uh, we will uh, do uh, all we can uh, to defend our countries and uh, to fight uh, against uh, invaders you know um something Vasila recently came to my mind <laughs> and that we are at some crossroads in life history from the standpoint the message is clear that we have democracy versus dictatorship and this is how it really appears right now you have iran you have north korea you have china all those dictatorship countries are sizing with putin while countries of democracy are with ukraine it's democracy versus dictatorship on one hand now here's my situation when this starts to happen do you think the world should just see this war as a ukraine russia war or a world a war between democracy and dictatorship and if democracy don't win this world we exist in eventually our democratic democratic standards of living will be something in the past then they need to know how vitally important it is to consistently structured and structured and assist ukraine in winning this war it may come to the time now where they may even need more than just weaponry they may, may need some form of military contribution in terms of personal in terms of soldiers to help fight this war because it's more than just two nations fighting against each other it's a system and our input in this system will determine what our future will be like what is your opinion on that uh, uh in my opinion in my opinion i'd uh, like to uh, say that uh, uh the democratic countries must understand that it's uh, it's challenge for all of us because for example events uh, in gaza it's uh, the same kind of problem taiwan it's the same uh, kind of problem and challenges uh, in uh, in the uh, uh, so-called big uh, uh, south uh, and uh, challenges uh, against baltic countries and uh, about uh, negotiations uh, about uh, 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 threat for poland and uh, all these problems uh, uh, must uh, encourage all countries to understand that it threats for all uh, of us and uh, must demonstrate that uh, uh, that uh, they decided to undermine uh, world order 
and uh, because of it uh, really important uh, to understand that uh, uh, only uh, unity will help us uh, to stand uh, against uh, uh, autocracy and against the dictatorship the only way uh, to survive because for example uh, we know that uh, united states has a uh, uh, leading uh, role uh, <coughs> among uh, uh, among member of uh, NATO bloc and leading role in as main uh, democracy in the world. And uh, now we can see that uh, weakness uh, with uh, support um, uh, 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 encouraging uh, these countries uh, to go ahead. We can see uh, negotiations uh, uh, about it and the attempt to communicate with uh, autocracy and uh, it uh, demonstrate only weakness. For example, um, I wanted uh, to say that uh, in the past, uh, since independence, Ukraine had uh, third biggest nuclear uh, power arsenal, but under uh, pressure, uh, including uh, Russia's pressure, Ukraine have to uh, transmit it to Russia Federation or eliminate. Uh, eliminate. Ukraine uh, eliminated long-range bombers, long-range missiles, and the uh, whole hoped for partnership, for hoped for uh, cooperation. And now we, um, mm, we are uh, fighting uh, with uh, uh, minimal support from uh, partners. We lack of ammunition, we lack of uh, military support. And to be honest, uh, during uh, the two years, uh, our uh, economy uh, uh has been destroyed partly but uh, destroyed we are not able uh, to have uh, uh, fire, higher uh, effective uh, economy uh, to resist and to build new uh, new military plant because uh, we are under threat and uh, we are being shelled every night uh, from Russia Federation uh, and uh, uh, from ammunition which uh, they uh, uh, have received from their partners. And because of it, uh, uh, it's challenge for all countries because, uh, <clears throat> uh, for example, all countries who's uh, observing uh, the events and uh, United States role uh, and uh, leading role in, United, in uh, NATO uh, they uh, uh, can understand that they are not uh, under protection and they uh, they uh, have uh, uh, no chances to hope for uh, support and they will uh, look for uh, new partners and uh, this way uh, uh, autocracy uh, will destroy uh, this unity and the world order will uh, collapse and uh, it's red for uh, all of us because uh, uh, autocracy uh, domination will will not uh, uh, develop our con uh, our countries and will not develop our planet it uh, it uh, will uh, involve us in uh, domination uh, uh, around the uh, around the world and uh, to avoid it, we must be together, we must understand it. And uh, it uh, was confirmed uh, during uh, United, uh, Germany's Chancellor to United States uh, who commented it. And uh, it was uh, uh, commented uh, head of uh, European Council who expressed his opinion. And uh, he, when he visited Ukraine, he had to... Uh, to stay in a bomb shelter because of Russia's shelling. It's it's type of uh, threatening, uh, and uh, we know that uh, in Europe, in Europe, they are trying to block uh, all routes from Ukraine. Uh, you know that Ukraine forces managed uh, to eliminate uh, a big part of Russia fleet in Black Sea. And now uh, trade routes uh, to Ukraine and from Ukraine are under uh, control military forces of Ukraine. Ukraine uh, 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 
uh, inventors uh, invented uh, sea drones and uh, thanks to uh, this new type of weapon, uh, Ukraine forces are holding and uh, control this route. Uh, in cooperation with uh, our partners uh, and uh, I'd say that uh, 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 we can see that uh, ahead uh, they will attack us for example uh, in the summer will be new election campaign and this year we will uh, have uh, many election campaign in uh, uh, European Union and in the United States and uh, uh, for example, Russia is uh, uh, playing uh, their games through radical uh, movement in European countries and uh, in United States uh, are trying uh, to use uh, without uh, to, to work without uh, limits and uh, uh, to get to uh, political uh, 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 political procedures uh, just to receive uh, influence and uh, we know that uh, uh, sanctions uh, uh, against Russia Federation are working but uh, they it uh, they uh, uh, it do, uh, don't work uh, effectively uh, to limit Russia Federation in resources and they have activate uh, all opportunities uh, to undermine uh, Ukraine's uh, uh, support for Ukraine from partners and uh, to receive uh, leverage for uh, different countries, uh, forming a new radical political movement in different countries. It's new type, but uh, we must understand that they have learned their uh, uh, lessons and they uh, will not stop, they will uh, go ahead. Yeah. And because of it, uh, we must know about these threats and uh, to know how to cope with it. Uh, because if we uh, don't cope uh, with it, it will be next to our loss. Despite of all of this, uh, what progress now is Ukraine at in terms of recapturing landmass that was taken by Russia? Um, do you see a clear path? now than even before of Ukraine gaining success or becoming more successful in winning this war? Uh, we hope that we will have uh, success because uh, we believe that uh, we will receive uh, ammunition from our European partners. We hope for support from United States. We hope from um, uh, for uh, uh, changes uh, because of uh, new st strategy and uh, because of new type of uh, behavior and we hope that we will manage to, to produce uh, uh, ammunition uh, at the plants uh, uh, in, Ukraine, in Ukraine which haven't been destroyed and uh, we hope uh, that uh, our partners will uh, uh, provide us when we have uh, uh, um, uh, uh, entity from uh, different countries including from, from Ukraine but uh, um, uh, to be sure, we must see uh, clear steps. Uh, now we haven't seen and um, every day we can see that the uh, uh, situation uh, is uh, in danger and uh, the situation uh, uh, haven't been solved and, uh, uh, and we don't know how it will work. Uh, because, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, we need uh, uh, to draft uh, uh, half million soldiers and Ukraine forces are going to do it and uh, the soldiers must, must be weaponized just to have opportunity to have reserve uh, to defend Ukraine and to defend uh, um, our neighboring country. Uh, for example, if we have any defeat at the battle line, uh, the Russians will use next attack uh, to come to NATO countries. And uh, I think that, uh, first of all, uh, under threat uh, are Baltic countries whose uh, NATO members. And uh, they will uh, try to uh, 
uh, to check how uh, NATO will react. Uh, and uh, they know all these uh, questions and answers for these questions. But one thing I want to ask, um, Ukraine want to draft at least a half million um, recruits to be soldiers. Now, when it comes to Russia, I know Russia somewhat is starved for military personnel. Um, some of his own people try to escape in the past so they won't be involved in the war. Uh, where is Putin going to grab his people from? Are he going to just force school kids to get involved in this war at a young age that can't really comprehend what combat is all about? What, what is Putin going to do? Opposed to Ukraine, who may very well be able to get that amount of soldiers simply because Russia has suffered more losses, personally, from a personal standpoint, than Ukraine. How, how do you see that playing out there? Uh, the situation is uh, changing. Uh, first of all, I'd say that Russians uh, are uh, uh, um, studying uh, and, uh, um, for example, from uh, low-drilled uh, soldiers, we could see from the very beginning they uh, uh, received uh, uh, more drilled and uh, more educated soldiers. And uh, they have time and they have uh, human resources uh, to draft. And uh, they are living uh, in the full-scale uh, propaganda uh, in domestic relations. And they are changing uh, point of tension. For example, we have seen uh, many goals in Ukraine. And they are changing the, uh, them and... Uh, um, and uh, Russians believe it because they uh, don't have independent sources of information that uh, they believe that uh, West wanted to attack Russia Federation and because of it they decided uh, to attack Ukraine uh, and uh, it uh, demonstrates that they have no choice and they don't think uh, why they have to go to to war uh, there are not uh, many protests because uh, uh, their uh, domestic uh, uh, low offensive uh, executive bodies uh, um, suppress uh, all this uh, attempt to to protest and they uh, haven't uh, uh, haven't announced about the drafty campaign, but I think that they will be able to do it after uh, so-called uh, election campaign uh, for uh, Russia's presidency. But uh, we know that the next president, uh, president of Russia Federation, will be the same, uh, and uh, they um, uh, don't care about. Uh, they uh, don't have a choice uh, because uh, they are following orders and uh, you know that uh, uh, this type of behavior uh, demonstrates that uh, they are not uh, uh, not uh, uh, any uh, power to resist and it means that they will be able to draft uh, all people uh, uh, they wanted uh, and uh, it means that a uh, number of farm uh, uh, number of army can be um, different and uh, it means that for example according to the our European partners uh, uh, estimation uh, from military sphere commented that in uh, uh, five or ten years uh, Russia will be able to attack uh, European countries uh, not uh, only bordering with Russia Federation but uh, country whose uh, 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 who's uh, uh, who's allocated uh, farther from their borders uh, because we know that uh, human resource uh, resources uh, are, are big uh, and uh, uh, and funding uh, is enough uh, because uh, they uh, have received only uh, cap uh, 
limits for uh, fuel, for uh, oil, but uh, they were not pro uh, prohibited uh, to exports. And uh, it allows them to have uh, enough profit from their, uh, uh, their natural resources uh, to cover funding their army and uh, growing uh, uh, army consuming. Uh, for example, I was surprised that they decided uh, for this budget, Russia Federation um, have uh, allocated uh, about 40% uh, military expenditures. And uh, it's more than uh, uh, had uh, Soviet Union. It, it had uh, 37 percent, and they have more. Uh, and it means that their economy uh, is uh, restoring for military uh, rail uh, and uh, will work uh, against uh, Ukraine and against uh, our partners. And uh, there are no any choice that they will uh, will be persuaded uh, that it's wrong way. Uh, only power and demonstrations that uh, we are together and uh, their casualties at the battle line. And we know it because we uh, Ukraine's uh, authorities uh, uh, have tried to uh, to communicate with them since uh, 2014. But uh, it's uh, attempt uh, to uh, have negotiation, it's lie. And uh, right. uh, this negotiation is uh, false and uh, they are working in uh, full-scale propaganda. Great. Well, on that note, Vasil, we come to the last few seconds of our program. I really want to thank you for coming on, and we will continue on this topic. And for all those who have been tuning in or living in the 21st century, I want to say to you, have an enjoyable day. Mm -hmm.